Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. This is more like an update to the FCOV and we already talked about this one in one of those weekly updates but I guess a couple of people didn't catch the idea. Plus there is a brand new update that is now here for Blender 2.91 that has to do with the cops or you know with the FCOV. So we're going to dive directly into it and take a look at how this would best suit whatever you're working on. So here we have Blender 2.9 and we have this blocked out shape looking spaceship thingy. So what we want to do is to go through and you know do a very simple animation for that so we're going to start off by going over to the object properties which is right here and within the location we're going to insert one and probably i think we should insert you know under keyframe somewhere around there and i'm going to move this over to 60 and within 60 i'm just going to slide the spaceship or slide it within the x axis over to a point like so let's add a brand new keyframe and probably i can also Let's just rotate this about 359. So that's pretty good. And then I'm going to also add a brand new keyframe. So if we move this all the way back and press the playback button, this is what we have. So once you change this editor type to the graph editor, you would notice that we have, you know, our graph right here. So let's go in there and see what we have. And for you to be able to zoom right in or, you know, pinch this, you need to hold down control with the middle mouse button and you can easily do that. So for some persons, you may want to dock this by the side, but for this case, let's simply keep this one right here. So once you have this, and you choose to play with the F curve, you can push this all the way to a point like so. We can also proceed to go all the way down here, select the attributes that we want to play with. You know, for this, we're also going to just simply select the attribute right there. Let's zoom right in. And I'm also gonna be able to select this and I'll also punch this one all the way to a point like so. Now the same thing happens for the movement curve. So we can also turn all of this off and you know, turn this off if you don't wanna see them. So for the location as well, we can do the same thing. So let's select what we have here and we're gonna push this from this particular handle all the way to this point, select this from this other particular Bezier handle, we're also going to get this S looking kind of curve. Now, if we go ahead and press the playback button, you can also see that we have that movement happening very smooth. We have that cool ease in and you know, the ease out thingy, but it is not snappy. So moving this to Blender 2.91, we have some stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this like we did previously. So let's go ahead and grab this object, select this, go over to object, and I'm going to simply copy the object. Now with this object copied, I'm going to file Blender 2.91 and already we'll have the spaceship here. So let's delete that and then go over to object and make that paste. Now, once we paste this object here and I switch from here, over to the graph editor let's drag this all the way up select this object as well and go back to the you know the location let's see what we have you can also tell that we have a very nice looking stuff so let's select this and at this point with this bezier handle once we select the curve so let's go ahead and select that we can easily get much more snappier looking stuff so the extent at which you can punch this is way better so contrary to blender 2.9 where you just have some sort of bounds and limitation now you can use the bezier handles and create some very interesting looking animation curves so at this point once you press your spacebar to get that playback happening you can notice that we have a much more snappier looking animation this is something that you probably would not be able to achieve with blender 2.91 i mean by default except you go in and start making a couple of tweaks so if you also choose to push the handle a little bit further you can even get way more snappier curves than you kind of expected so we can also have this and you can see that so if you're trying to get the object to have a snappier movement yes it is now a possibility now the next thing which is here which is also very interesting is you can now insert a brand new keyframe without distorting your entire f curve so what this means is with blender 2.9 that we have right here so let's simply zoom right into a point like so let's actually drag this one all the way up and let's zoom right in here good so with this here if we go over to a point like so and i choose to add a brand new keyframe you can notice that it simply distorts what we already have so already first of all we're having this issue where we don't have a snappier moving motion. And if you choose to add a brand new keyframe, you can already see what we're having. Now, if you go back to Blender 2.91, you would also notice that this is not a problem that we have right there. So I'm also gonna move this over to a very critical point like this. And if I right click and choose to add 
a frame, you would notice we just have that exactly where we want it to be. This is going to help for a lot of use cases. So most people that would want to have a snappier motion and maybe want to tweak something alongside. So for example, if you want to tweak things alongside your rotational curve, this is also something that can, you know, help make your work even way better. So we can now select this rotation curve right here, select the handle, push this handle all the way to a point like so. And then we can also select this other Bezier handle. So let's grab that. Let's turn this off. So let's grab this other one and we can push this one all the way to a point like that. Now, for most people, you might be asking, how do you constrain this or how do you get this to feel some sort of way? If you hold down shift, you're definitely going to be able to constrain it to a point so you can easily constrain something like so. And then if you would like to add a keyframe somewhere around here, of course, you can easily go in there and add a keyframe and you can notice it doesn't distort. So this is the update to it. And of course, we're going to talk about more of these things during the weekly update. So keep an eye open for that. Yeah, this is about it for those asking about the F curves and how this, you know, would help your workflow. Probably you didn't understand most of the things that we talked about earlier. This is a much more detailed video for this and tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section. If there are things that you don't understand that you want me to, you know, reiterate and talk about more that has to do with the updates that is now here for Blender 2.91. Tell me about them in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with the tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.